and it doesn't require that much energy to perform. So essentially, you're not burning that much energy when you're doing cardio. And when you continue. For the record, I'm done trying to make y'all comfortable. Right. For the record, you ain't trying to grow any stuff for you. Right. For the record, lab on me going all the way. For the record, ain't trying to link no time to waste. For the record. What's going on guys, friend Kenny over here. Now, in this video, we're gonna be talking about what is the fastest and easiest way to burn body fat, right? And when people talk about like, and the reason I said body fat is because like, for a lot of people when they talk about like they wanna lose weight and like stuff like that, they talk about like they want, they really wanna lose uh, body fat, right? Because body fat is essentially like the extra excess, the extra skin that you have on your body and stuff like that, right? Because like, losing weight could be a number of different things, you know, uh, weight could be also be in the muscles that you have, weight, it could be like water weight and stuff like that and also like you know fat so it's like when people talk about like i want to lose weight they're really just talking about like burning uh they want to lose our uh, body fat right and so that's what we're going to talk about in this video what's the fastest and easiest way to do that right and for most people it's usually a debate between uh cardio and strength training right um while they're both effective way of burning fat we're more interested in like the most effective and the fastest way to do that right First, let me explain what these two exercises or the type of training are. Cardio is an endurance cardiovas uh, cardiovascular workout, which consists of like long duration like movements such as like jogging, uh, biking, swimming, and really just doesn't require a lot of strength to do so, right? And strength training, also known as resistant training, it's a workout method that requires like heavy lifting or just lifting in lifting of weight in general and a kind of resistance between uh, your body and the weight, right? And this is the most effective method of burning fat because this type of training requires your body to spend or use a lot more energy to perform and to execute or just a lot of calories essentially, right? And now if we think about what food is, it's energy, also known as calories, which are essentially like the same thing, right? And our body just has to go through a process to convert that food into energy uh, for our body to use, you know, for our body to use to perform its like daily tasks, such as like really just keeping us alive, you know, making sure like our, our, our blood is pumping, our uh, blood is circulating, and really just performing our daily tasks and rare uh, errand. All that, doing different things, like me moving my hand and stuff like that, like that requires energy, right? You see, the problem is that people eat way too much energy or calories than your body requires to survive. And so our body stores that excess energy in the form of fat, right? And over time, you see people will get heavier and heavier and bigger and bigger if they continue on this, uh, on this path of consuming way too much energy than the body actually requires to survive. Now, as I stated before, strength training demands uh, demands the most energy to perform. As you perform this type of training, your body is forced to tap into the stored fat or stored energy that uh, to really just to, uh, to use, right? And over time, you will slowly begin to lose weight and get really just get rid of all that excess fat or excess energy that you've been storing up for so long, right? Now, that's looking at the bigger picture of really just like how this whole thing works, okay? Like the relationship between like uh, burning uh, burning fat and really just our, our, our body, right? Now let's dive a little deeper into really just like the mechanics of all this, right? So as you're doing this, uh, this resistant training, right, uh, your body is going to be forced to develop and to grow muscles in the process, and uh, in the process, right? Which is always a good thing. The more muscles that you have, the more energy or calories your body will be able to burn at rest, right? This basically means that even when you're not working out, your body will be demanding more and more energy to operate, you know, therefore burning more fat, right? The thing with cardio is that you can only burn calories, which as we talked about, is the same thing as energy when you're doing cardio, right? And again, it doesn't require that much energy to perform. So essentially, you're not burning that much energy when you're doing cardio. And when you continue to do cardio over time, it becomes the loudest signal that you've sent your body, right? So essentially, you're meaning your body will optimize itself to be better at what you're telling it to do. So it will start burning the muscle that you do have to really just to be more efficient at doing cardio because muscle is heavy and really just, it doesn't help you to be more efficient at cardio. And that's the reason why uh, your body starts paring down muscles as you continue to do more and more uh, cardio, right? And that's why if you look at like long distance runners, you know, they're very skinny because for them to be able to run for such a long distance, their body has to pare down all that muscle. Like they have to be as light as a feather, really just to be able to, to run for such a, a long period of time, right? And when you look at sprinters, they're usually very built with a lot of muscle, like literally like everywhere. And that's just due to the type of training that usually requires like weightlifting, right? And guys, really, that's why weightlifting is the most effective way to burn body fat. Again, 
after you're done weight training, weight lifting, 48 hours after you're training, your body is still gonna be burning energy, burning calories, right? While cardio, the moment that you start, that you stop doing cardio, your body stops burning calories, your body stops using energy, right? And so if you want the fastest and the easiest way to burn uh, body fat, that's gonna be uh, weight training, right? Guys, I hope this video finds you well. I hope you really just got a lot of value out of this video. And uh, yeah, I'll talk to you guys soon. Hey guys, if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to the channel and hit that thumbs up button for more fitness content related to strength building and fat loss.